You don't really know much about Halloween. Welcome to another episode of Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Joel. And I'm Laura. And we're the Newly Duds. And we're back again wearing our shambled Buddha shirts from the Mad Bloods over in Australia because we are getting into their big box of snacks that they sent us all the way from over there, under there, down there. I got there. You I, got go. there. I got there. And then you're going to um, say across the pond. I'm like, no. Across the ditch. Yeah, we're not in New Zealand. Um, but we are back in our old format here, sitting on the, the the new couch. Actually, it was different than the couch you all may have seen before. Um, to try these three different snacks that they've sent to us, so I'm excited. We're starting out with cheesels, <laughs> the original cheese flavored snacks, which has a cute little cheese guy that we're going to put in our face and make him our uh, breakfast. Yep. Uh, it says, remember the big cheese, you walk into the party and there he is. You haven't seen him in years and now he's in front of you, looking every bit as delicious as you remember. Suddenly this playful orange fellow is popping up everywhere, doing the rounds at barbecues, delighting crowds at parties, even lounging on a picnic blanket at a play date. He is proving irresistible and after just one bite, you remember that the big cheese always knows how to bring the cheese flavored fun to the party. I have Get online for e-cheese. You can go to facebook.com. They don't have uh, a four slash cheesels. I think it's funny that he's got one of his compadres on his finger. Yeah. Like it's a uh, proudly Australian made. I'm wondering if they like had a hiatus, like where they weren't making cheesels for a while, you know, cause it sounds to me like they, they this is a comeback. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it that's, a comeback? Matt well, Bloods? that's what it sounds like. You know, it says you haven't seen him in years, you know? Huh. Yeah. Raul, posh. Will you let us know about cheesels? Was this like a snack that, you know, Sweet went Yoshi. away and then came back? Sweet Yoshi? Yeah, that's another Mad oh. Blood. There's multiple <laughs> Mad Bloods. There's EJ, okay. but EJ's over here in Brooklyn. Sorry. So. Sorry, Sweet He's Yoshi. Yoshi. Yeah. He's <laughs> sorry. One one I know I'm blood. saying sorry. <laughs> um, oh, that smells good. That smells like mac and cheese. Yeah, let me snag one. They look, the weird thing is, is they look like, um, I don't know if, if, for those of you who are familiar with, that sounds really uh, good. calamari. They're like calamari. I'm guessing shape. it's gonna be yeah, like a um, like a cheese puff. Yeah, just round. Yeah, which is interesting. I wonder why they make the shape like yeah. that. Yeah, cheers before, before you chew. chew. So you can put your tongue through it or something. Mm-hmm. Hello. All right, finger. Bop. You can hold on your fingers. Oh, I have. Mm-hmm. I know what they taste like. You do? Uh-huh. Like mm-hmm. that? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got one out of here. Oh, oh gross. They taste like cheese balls. A lot? Cheese balls. Just like them. These are good. I feel like... Fingerless is fun. Um, I mean, they definitely have a cheese ball. The only thing that's different is that cheese balls had a like a like a, a more porous texture to them. So yeah. you put them in your mouth and yeah, if you like these are smoother. Them, like you sucked on them, or you let them like dissolve. They always had kind of like almost like a jagged edge. These are very are much smoother. Um, but you're right; it has a very similar flavor. Now you're getting like olives going on here. Um, very similar flavor and kind of texture and crunch and things like that. Um, so let's start with. They're baked, not fried. Cheezels. I want to call them cheezel weasels. They're made with corn and rice. So. These are delightful. For cheezels, um, out of 10, what would you rate? Nine. Cheezels. Nine? Holy crap. Holy I'm not high. giving those to your kids. Your kids will like them and they'll eat them all and I'll be sad. 
Uh, we can't get any more unless we order them from Australia. I know. That's why I'm like we're um, eating them. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I feel like nine is is like about to blow up into the stratosphere, but um, I think they're good. I would. I'm not a fan of cheese puffs. I'm one of the weirdies that doesn't really like cheese. I like cheese, cheese balls. I so like cheese puffs. I, I'm gonna give them a seven because they are good, but I I could not see myself eating a lot of these because of the texture thing. Oh, then they're mine. Next up, we have Jumpies and Friends Baked Crackers. Chicken flavor. How'd your face? Now, this is the thing that's confusing to me because... I think they're chicken and a biscuit. She, right. She feels like they're probably like chicken and a biscuit, which makes sense. But when you see animal crackers or animal shaped anything, you either think uh, like dino chicken nuggets or you think animal crackers. And animal crackers are sweet. Animal crackers and dino chicken nuggets don't taste like each other. Um... So it's kind of a weird, confusing situation. I think chicken and a biscuit. I think you're right. It probably is going to. Which... I uh, we don't eat meat anymore, but that doesn't have meat in it. And we uh, we eat, we're we're vegetarians, so we're just oh yeah, they don't look well. But you know, I, I'm gonna I like my brain is gonna say oh it's shaped like an animal, so uh, it must be sweet. But I'm not sure what animal this is. It's a shape animal shape. What is that? Uh, it's like an anteater. A camel. No, it's like an anteater. Well, what is this? Is this like a mutated dolphin? No, that looks like a... Is it a, it's a, a, it's a kangaroo. Moose? It's going boing, boing. Well, why does a kangaroo have a coma? Oh, wait, that's, that's a, a kangaroo. kangaroo. Five fun aminal shapes, and you can't tell what animal they are. Yes, I said aminal. I meant to, but... All right, well... Uh, no, you can't, we can't hide our face. These are animals from... Uh, down at, down oh, under, oh yeah. Cheers before you chew. I was like, don't taste it. They smell it. good. They smell like chicken. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I know exactly what that is. It's not quite chicken and a biscuit. It's close to chicken and a biscuit. I think that was a koala I just ate. Yep. Uh, you're going to get chlamydia. Um, I'm going to tell you in just a second what I think it tastes like. <clears throat> I usually try three, so I'm going to try one more. I'm going to have this starfish with a nose. It's not a starfish with a nose. That's, that was, um, let me eat one more. <laughs> Mothman? Yeah. No, it's a koala. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. That's a cockatoo. A cockatoo. Koala, wombat. Oh. Kangaroo. kangaroo. And a platypus. Oh, so they're all Australian animals. That's I love why it. I'm confused. These are good. Do you know what they remind me of? They are good. Um, it reminds me, have you ever tasted the, the seasoning packet in, like, either chicken ramen or... Mm -hmm. Uh, like mm -hmm. chicken seasoning, like bouillon. That's it, actually what's in it. What? It actually says chicken seasoning. Okay. Because so it reminds me of the same kind of stuff that you would use for either like if you had a uh, chicken ramen or if you would use chicken bouillon. That's what like chicken and a biscuit bouillon. is, basically. Chicken and a biscuit has a very specific flavor that isn't quite like that to me. It's, it's got it's a little more tang to, to it, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This tastes a little bit more like they just took the same stuff and just sprinkled it on the, the I cracker. I think they're good. But they're good. Um, I do like them, and my brain did not say sweet. It said chicken. Um, a cock. So on a, a cock, scale? Pick up a cock. Out of 10, 1 out of 10? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you're asking me to say first? Um, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I, I feel like it's a, a 7 again. I agree. I like them. Like I like it, and I would eat more of them. Um, and I, I don't want to feel guilty because, you know, I feel it's like not it's a good made of snack. actual chicken. I mean, it's definitely a snack cracker, you know, like you just need something to tide you over from X to Z. Like, you know, I wouldn't eat it with like lunch or something like that, you know. I don't know. It might be a good like summertime, you know, eat your sandwich kind of thing. I'm a little nervous. I've never had Vegemite before. You've never had Vegemite? No. Oh, I like Vegemite. Do you? Yeah. So the last one we've got here is Shapes. Vegemite like and cheese. The shape. Like the shape. Like the Halloween, yeah, Michael Myers. I don't want to get sued. Um, yeah, when I went over... For singing? And lived in... Well, the, the song. Uh, we get copyright struck. When I went over and lived in Korea for a couple months, we stayed at a hostel when we first got there. Um, and there was a um, an Australian couple that was in the hostel as well, and they were eating Vegemite in the morning, and I was curious about what they were eating. And they took a, a small piece of, of toast and put some Vegemite on it. And that's the first time I ever had it. 
wasn't the last time, but it was the first time I had it. Um, it's like a yeast kind of thing, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what it's made. I think it's made of like Australians. Um, it's 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 delightful though. You just can't you just don't want a, it's too thick of an amount. That's I'm where, pretty sure it's like a yeast kind of like uh, like a taste. yeast extract or something. I don't know. Taste. People put too much and then it then they go. Bleh. You got to have a nice thin layer of it. Ooh. And sometimes you want to put other stuff on there with it, like this, in case it's been Smells good. cheese. I like it. I think it's tasty. Flavor you can see. Arnott's is what it's, so it's Aussie Legends. No oh, artificial Aussie flavors. Legends. Foil wrapped for freshness. It's oven baked, not fried. You want to smell it? I think it smells good. They're funky little shaped, like this one kind of looks like it might be broken. They're like weird shapes again. It's like a little but bat. they're shapes, so I guess that's why it's they're called shapes. Oh, this one's broken. Yeah. All right. So cheers, cheers for you, too. Art brave. Hmm. That's a hearty cracker. Shape. You could use this to like dip in something. Like what? Hummus or like, you know, some sort of cheese dip. It's like hearty. We're going to have to buy some Vegemite for you to try. Mm hmm. I think you'd like it. I'm not sure, again, what Vegemite tastes like. So mm. it's not got a real like, I don't get like a, a, a really strong Vegemite flavor. Oh, good. But. They've got kind of like a, I don't know if bitter is the right mm. word. It's like a mild, like it's not super cheesy. It's got almost like a wheat cracker. Like a it's got bit. a bit of a wheat kind of. I, I ain't mad at it. I like it. I like all the snacks you guys sent I was us. I say, three very good places. Win, win, win. Out of 10. Mm hmm. Filtering, sorry. I'm going to give it a seven. These are all good. The only thing I'm I'm a little picky about, I'm not a, a big wheat cracker guy. I like wheat crackers. And it got it's got a kind of a wheat cracker flavor to it. So I'm gonna knock it down just a little bit to a six. Hmm. I still like it. Sorry You're for so me licking my fingers. What? You're so picky. You never give people tens. Or like nines or You're a ten. <laughs> um but yeah, I I, I save that for the absolute best of the best. And someday it's going to happen. Mm hmm You think? It already did. Ah, So it's never going to happen again? No. You, you, broke the, you broke the mold. <laughs> uh, so if you'd like to find more of this, um, check out our YouTube channel, the rest of the stuff that's on where you're at currently, or go to thenewlydeads.com for all the information about our blogs, our TV show, our other videos that are out there, our uh, events that are coming up, as well as our podcast. Uh, basically, everything you want to know is right there. Uh, if you have questions, you can reach us at contact at thenewlydads.com. And we want to say thank you again to the Mad Bloods channel and the Mad Bloods and... We appreciate you. All the Australians I'm that sure made this someday possible. Someday you'll get a, a package on, on, the, on its way back again once we, we yeah. amass some snacks that we feel like are you know, good for you guys to try. We have not even started yet, so just a word to, to you guys specifically. I know you're watching. And we know it's um, expensive to ship, so. It is going to happen again. We just, you know, had to take a break because June has been crazy. Yeah. And by the time you see this, it will not be June anymore. It'll be July. It'll be July. Yay. Yay. All right. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we're going to quit yakking and get back to snacking. Bye. See ya.